Hi again guys, um, this is just a follow up video uh, about the Ableton Live user mode pad designer. It's This time it's a version 2, it's been revamped to make uh, designing user mode a lot more easier and a lot more quicker. Um, for user mode, normally what you do is you'll press the user mode button there. Um, as you can see it's pretty much boring, um, nothing is highlighted, all the pads are blank, uh, the black buttons which have labels on them, they're off. Um, most people design user mode by opening a clip, adding in notes and controller values and tweaking them and doing a few things like that and it's pretty inefficient and it's very slow and long winded. So what I decided was to take a different approach. So how it works, it's very simple, we want to set up a 4x4 pad, it's just a matter of um, tapping them on the push and it's all done in zones so once you're happy with the design uh, you choose a zone we're going to choose zone 1 and it's there and then we just commit it by pressing this button and um, you can check that it's still there by pressing zone 1 there it is and we'll just leave it there for now and maybe you want a sub pad so you might want to put one down here somewhere like that and uh, before you do switch off everything and design it and then we commit it to zone 2 it's a simple matter of doing that and then we turn it off and um, you can check your zones there's zone 1 and there's zone 2 so maybe you want to put a strip along the top um, so what we'll do is we'll make a quick strip along the top there like that and we'll commit that to zone 3 and just turn it off make sure all the other zones are there there's zone 1 and zone 2 and zone 3 it's as simple as that and because it's in zones you're not fixed to the colour scheme that you get and uh, you can adjust it and the best way to adjust it is for zone 1 we simply do this uh, zone 2 maybe I like dark colour so I'll try and get there you go and then zone 3 there we go okay so you've got your pad design, the next thing you want to do is um, choose which buttons you're going to be using. Um, for this purpose of this video I'm going to turn all of these off. Okay, so let's say you're going to be using your navigating buttons. So you'll have activate them and maybe um, you'll use a couple of these and maybe you'll use a few of these. Okay, and maybe some of these. So once you're happy with the uh, buttons that you want and you're ready to commit the entire pad design just turn on your zones and then you simply press play and play again and now your entire design has now been recorded into a clip. Um, to check that clip you can just press play and there it is. That's your entire pad design buttons. They're all active. Now the buttons are actually flashing at the moment but that's not a problem and um, to cure that you simply go in and move it to a single loop so it'll be like that and it's pretty solid um, if you want to you can just bring down the tempo down to a standard tempo and that will make the canvas pretty solid so as you can see that's a lot easier um, for designing user mode and put user mode on, on the map really because um, up until now it was kind of um, a no go zone unless you really knew what you were doing uh, with this utility it's a matter of just running it tapping your pads saving it to a clip and now you can export that clip to any configuration any template or any song that you want to use it in um, hope you found it useful and if you're interested in it you can actually get it from um, the web address on the screen uh, for $19 and that's it Thanks for watching guys.